Do you know that you only have to do the carnivore diet for just one day to experience all the health benefits? Hey, with Shake and Bacon, I hope you're doing well. So my name is Bruno Panucci. I've been doing the carnivore diet consistently for over two and a half years, and I'm down 150 pounds, and it's going really well. I still have more weight to lose, but I hit a plateau for a while, and I've been working through that plateau, and it's really nice. I did a lot of different things, and I've also corrected a lot of health problems. Nothing really corrected until I was consistent with the carnivore diet, and I mean consistently strict. So for me, I'm an abstainer, so I can't have food uh, like a moderator can. I have friends who can do the carnivore diet and they can still have maybe a little bit of a low sugar wine at the end of the day, or they can have uh, some potato chips every now and then, and they're 99% carnivore. They treat themselves every now and then just because they can, and it doesn't affect them in a negative way if the treat is small enough. Um, but, you know, they can have like a little bite of a cookie or maybe one small cookie, and they could stop it there, and they don't have this extreme addiction like I have, where when I start that, I have to finish a ton of it and make a meal out of it. So there's lots of people out there who might give in on that. They might have a bite of pizza and before they know it, by the end of the day, like an alcoholic, they're going and they're buying all this food that's off a carnivore diet and they just binge on it. And it creates a lot of health problems because it makes it difficult to stick to the carnivore diet. Then you're on it, you're off it, you're on it, you're off it. And you can't really do well and you don't get all the benefits and it's just making that eating disorder worse. So I learned a long time ago, I have to abstain. But one of the difficulties of deciding to abstain is you create this problem in your head because you look at this big picture and this huge mountain that you have to climb and you're like, oh, like it's just too much. So you do these self-sabotaging behaviors because the idea of climbing that mountain is overwhelming. Even if you have a lot of zeal, as soon as it starts to become work, that craving, that dopamine fix starts calling for you and it tries to convince you to go back to the old way of eating and you're sabotaging yourself. You're giving into self-sabotaging behaviors and you just get to this point where maybe it's out of overconfidence because you think maybe you're bulletproof and you're not going to have anything off a carnivore diet and then you give in or you've been doing fasting and it's been too early in your carnivore journey to even try fasting because you can't even manage a carnivore diet and you're throwing fasting in there. It's not really a good combination in the beginning. And by beginning, I mean like an easy six months. So for a variety of different reasons, you'll sabotage yourself. And in part, I think a large part of that is it's overwhelming to know that this might be for the rest of your life. And maybe after months or years, most likely years, you can start trying to incorporate some foods here or there that are still zero carb. And yes, they're not technically going to be on carnivore. But quite frankly, if I didn't have to be an abstainer and have to be on a carnivore diet, I wouldn't, you know, I admire those people that can moderate at 99% and still be considered carnivore. You know, like I understand the argument, you know, as a vegan, a vegan, if they have meat once a week, uh, even if it's a little bite, well, you know, I would say no, I get that. But like, we don't need to be dogmatic about this either, right? If someone's carnivore diet is 95 or 99% carnivore, and I'm just obviously throwing numbers out there to emphasize a point. Well, all the more power to them, I say. But if you're trying to get more strict and you just want to be consistent or you even just want to be extremely strict on your carnivore diet, you just need to master one day of it. Just one day. That's it. And you have to stop and say, no matter what, no matter what, I'm not having anything off this carnivore diet today. And you want to start by food prepping. You want to make sure that you have enough food on hand that you can keep yourself comfortably full. And I mean full, as full as you can comfortably get. So worry about binge eating or the addiction of being full because that might be an eating disorder that you're struggling with. Worry about that later. That will honestly iron itself out the longer you do carnivore. Right now, stay full on the foods you can eat so you're not going to stray off your carnivore diet. Make sure you're getting enough fat in your diet that you're not eating too lean. That's another mistake lots of people make. But whichever way you're going, whether you want to just get more strict with a carnivore diet or you just want to be consistent with a carnivore diet, you just need to worry about that one day. That's it. That's as simple as that. There's no reading into this. There's no trick here. Just worry about that one day. And what happens is you may not feel any different on the next day. You get to the next day. All you're going to have to worry about is just that day again. 
and just make sure you have enough food on hand. Make sure maybe if it's a concern of yours, try keeping some food at work, try keeping some food at home in the fridge and try having regular go-to restaurants you can go to that are whether they're drive through or they're a sit down restaurant that you can go to and get food when you're in a pinch. Maybe it's a grocery store food that's on a carnivore diet and food ideally that's not going to trigger like say McDonald's is your place to go for burgers but you always give in to getting a McFlurry or whatever they're called over there then maybe stay away from McDonald's for a little while go to a different place just break up that habit and try and be consistent just for that day again and when you get consistent doing this day by day by day instead of looking at that huge mountain you have to climb whether you're trying to be really strict or just consistent by 100%. The more strict you are on a carnivore diet, the more you feel the health benefits typically. There's a big difference between people who can do it, say 95% strict, and that other 5% goes a long way. They say that's often where people start getting a whole other level of health benefits when they're 100% strict. And I've done that and it makes a big difference, especially when I incorporate intermittent fasting with a carnivore diet. Now, I can't stress this enough. I don't recommend you do intermittent fasting of any kind when you're starting a carnivore diet. It's a guaranteed recipe for disaster or you punish yourself by not eating for a day or two because you're trying to do a carnivore diet. Even if for some reason you screw up on your one day of being strict carnivore, don't think, well, I'm not going to do this for the rest of the day and then the rest of the weekend and then I'm not going to start again until next week or on Monday. No, you go back to it in your next meal. And I can almost guarantee the reason why you gave in was you weren't stuffed because when you're stuffed on enough fat and meat, and by stuffed, I mean as comfortably full as you can get, because I find on a carnivore diet, it's really difficult to get stuffed. But when you eat to the point where you just can't comfortably eat anymore, you're not going to want a bag of chips. So is who offers you ice cream or candy, you'll be like, no, nah, I can't eat anymore. I'm good. You're going to prevent yourself from sliding back. So I recommend Worry about one day at a time. Be as strict as you can. And this applies to almost anything in life. But just worry about one day at a time, especially when you're at a low point that you're not doing too well with your diet. Because when it comes to health, even any professional bodybuilder, any amateur bodybuilder will tell you it's 15% gym time and probably about 40 to 50% nutrition. The rest of it's rest. So most of us can manage the rest pretty good. It's the nutrition most of us have a difficult time managing. So remember this message more than anything. Just do the one day. It's all you need to worry about. The next day you wake up, just do one day. Don't worry about the big journey. Just worry about that one day. And before you'll know it, you'll have months under your belt. Consistent months under your belt of being a strict carnivore. Try following that advice. Thanks a lot and take care.